keeping it Dutch is a scammer. What's up guys? Today is day six of a hundred and uh, man, yesterday kicked my butt. Can't lie. Uh, we had to basically stop working because I was just tore up. My body was hurting so bad I can't even hold the chainsaw up anymore. Jelena was struggling. So we went into my parents or went to my parents house and did a live chat and stuff. Kind of ate some food there and um, there were a lot of people talking trash to us lately on a lot of stuff on saying we're not really off grid if we're going into town um why are you always at your parents why aren't you doing this you know you're not even working hard and blah 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 i got one thing to say to you guys one thing and it's something my granny used to say bless your hearts and so i'm just gonna leave you guys with that i got too much work to do to be dealing with um dumb comments so we're gonna work on this uh fence line here again today as you guys know, um, we put the electric fence up, and uh, this electric fence over here, as you can tell, is doing really well. Not, look, it's all down. It fell down, and guess what? There's no goats in that pen. They got out yesterday, and uh, it's just one of those things. It's not fun. It's the reality of this out here. I'm pretty sure it was either Mimi or rusty the two bigger goats that knocked it down um i thought it would work we put them in the fences before and it kept them in but i guess out here they wanted to roam so they're out they spent the night out in the wilderness again for day two or night two on them so we're not gonna lie to you guys we're gonna let you guys know that this is tough we are uh dealing with a lot of stuff that is pretty rough on us and um we also lost two chickens yesterday. They, uh, it was our female dog. She attacked them when we were gone and we got home and she was attacking them. And this is about as good as we felt. Doo-doo. It's a lot of doo-doo bugs. Look at them rolling that doo-doo. But yeah, we lost two chickens. Luckily, the dog just killed them. And so I was able to, uh, process them and keep the meat only a little bit of it was ruined and the birds are still warm like they literally just died we caught her uh trying to get some other ones and so uh it's just the reality of this it's tough it sucks when it's one of your animals killing your other animals but luckily it was two roosters um, we still have one rooster we were gonna um call off two roosters anyways that way because we had too many roosters and we were gonna eat them so it kind of worked out um, not exactly what we were going for, but it worked out. So, I don't know. It's just one of those things that it's just the reality of this. We're not going to lie to you. Um, a lot of people are going to be mad at us for these things. The goats got out. The chickens died. That's the reality of it. And if you live this lifestyle and you said that doesn't happen, you're a liar. And so, we're just not going to uh, lie to you guys about it. But I got a lot of work to do. Jalen is inside editing the vlog that's going to come out today. Well, you watched it yesterday. But I got to do this while she edits. Guys, it's a lot. But there is a cold front that is coming in. And guess what? It's going to be low 90s. All right. Cold front down here in South Texas, low 90s. I'll take it. All right, so what I did yesterday was cleared all this out. I cut the two branches off there, started cleaning up this fence line. You can actually tell that there's a fence there now, which is awesome. There's some of these tree branches and stuff that I cut over here. We're going to uh, drag those out today whenever I get Jalena's help. We're gonna drag all these branches off that are here, take them out of the way. But I think for now, I might try to either take the chainsaw and work on those two trees in there. Let me get up on this log. I might take the chainsaw and work on these two trees, kind of cut them down, kind of get in there and start clearing fence line and stuff. Um, or just try to tackle this right here. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, I wish I had the weed eater out here, but I don't. So I'm going to take that little dummy stick and go in and cut as much as I can. 
But I think for today, I'm gonna try to work on this corral right here and see what we can get done. But this uh, tree stump's been here so long, we got cactus growing out the top of it. And the cantaloupe that the goats didn't eat because they got out with the ants are getting it. So I was hoping yesterday the goats would have uh, started to eat all this stuff off the fence line, but they didn't. They went to go eat somewhere else. And yes, just by the way, uh, Jalen and I drove around in the Jeep this morning, looked, didn't find them. I'm sure they're fine, but we, yes, we did go look for them. But I'm going to get in here and I'm going to start trying to rip off this fence line because that's a big goal of mine is to be able to see through the fence and uh, can't do that. There's stuff on it, so let's do that. Got my gloves. Finally, got my gloves on. I know, there's probably snakes in here, but what can you do? It's never fun, but it needs to get done. <sighs> Pulling all these big old vines off. If any of y'all have a better way of doing this, please let me know, because I probably got hundreds of more feet of fence line, if not thousands. While I'm out here doing this, um, I'm by myself. Jaylene is inside, this is good for me. I need to be by myself. Um, I got a lot of uh, problems mentally, I guess you could say. Not bad or anything, but I need to learn patience. I need to learn, you know, just things like that. But I get to be out here in the wild with all these animals and see nature and all that. So check this out, I love this stuff. Some raccoon poop, I asked you guys yesterday um, if you guys knew what kind of poop that was or two days ago raccoon poo they poo in trees they don't they poo in trees so uh they could be up and out of the way and uh check this out see that green spider now look down here i think that's all its babies all the babies right there if you could see them see them all all the little baby spiders I'm pretty sure that's baby spiders it's gonna be like that green spider right there i'm pretty sure See that green spider right there? Nature, you gotta love it. It just kinda, you know, brings you back to reality and lets you know that, you know, life is just a game and it really is. It's all about survival. It's not about technology or making friends or, you know, talking bad about people or race or religion. It's just about doing your thing and surviving. And that's really it. I've always thought, life is just a game and just make it to the next day and the next day because tomorrow is not promised so that's just the point of this is get out here do what i can don't kill myself on it don't um worry about it. if i want to go into town to help my parents i'm gonna help my parents because tomorrow's not promised and i may not get the extra day to go hang out with my parents and it would just break my heart to know that I didn't go see my parents when I could have if something were to happen because some of you guys left bad comments saying we need to be at the ranch. So maybe you guys can think about that and, uh, you know, before you comment. I don't know. But I got to get to work. I got to do this. The end of this, the goal is to bring my granny out here and show her what this place could look like, like it used to. She used to come out here all the time, and that's my goal. So that's just for me a mental um, note to remember. And, uh, you know, if you guys want to keep leaving bad comments, that's fine. Just know I got a bigger picture in mind, even though you may not know it. All right, so uh, I got the fence starting to get cleared out. You can tell you can actually see a fence. That's pretty big. I'm pretty happy with that so far. Getting a lot of grass piled up. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to work my way down to that chute and clear all this up. And then I'm going to jump on the inside and clear all the inside out. But as you can tell, there's the fence, and I'm super happy with that. So far today, the tools that I've used are my hands, my hands and gloves. And I want this to be a good, you know, lesson to you guys. You know, if you're out there and you're thinking, man, 
I would do this work, but I can't. I can't afford tools or anything. The best tools you ever have are your hands right here, your God-given tools. So don't let anything hold you back. Um, I'm going to clear this whole fence line with nothing but my hands to show you guys that anything is possible. If you want it done, you just have, a, have, have to have a good mindset and a good attitude and just get to work, do what you got to do. Um, I know, it's just one of those things, you know, you get to sit out here, I get to be out here by myself and uh, just really think and dive back into my mind and that's like my biggest thing was like, man, I wish we had more tools, I wish we had this. No, you don't, you don't need all that. It helps, but right here, it's all you need and right here, you got to have some heart and a good mind and just do it. All right, so we're kind of getting there. You can see a fence line, which is awesome. And guys, just remember, just remember, just remember, we're doing this for the love of family. Um, I absolutely love my family to death. My granny, we're doing this for her, my parents, my brothers. We're doing this for my aunts and uncles, all of them because this is a family ranch. And not only just family, that's blood but family that are you guys from our Facebook I mean from our YouTube but we have the Facebook family group the Crocker family page and um, we think of you guys as family and a lot of people are saying just do this you're just doing this for uh, YouTube views and stuff no not the views we're doing this for you guys behind the camera that are watching on your phones and computers and stuff and you know we think of you guys as family and you guys support us every day so to be able to come out here and do this and do it for our entire family, blood and internet. It's totally worth it, it's awesome. It's a lot of work, but it's totally worth it. So don't ever forget the things you could do for family. All right, I know a lot of you are gonna be asking, you drinking enough water? Yes, I got my water out here. I got my dummy stick, and we're gonna start clearing out the inside of the fence. Um, as you could tell, the outside was over there. Now we're on the inside. Um, I kind of patrol for some snakes. There's ants all over my lens here, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna start cleaning out the inside and I cut some of the uh, tree branches off that yesterday and they fell down. So I'm gonna clean that out, but let's see what we could do. Put that baseball swing that I learned. My parents put me through baseball years and years and years. T-ball, we were T-ball champions. Oh man, I played all the way to high school. So let's, uh, Put all that youth baseball league money to work, Ma and Dad. Let's not forget golf. I was on the golf team as well. I didn't say I was good. I was just on the team because you didn't have to try out. The school is so small. You wanted to be on the team, you're on the team. This is going to sound really gross, but I was a switch hitter. In baseball, guys, I could swing left-handed too. One thing my dad always taught me and my brothers in baseball was when you hit the ball, maybe it was a pop fly or a bunt or barely went and, you know, and they threw you out at first. It didn't matter if they already threw you out. You run full speed from home plate to first all the way through. Doesn't matter if you're out or not because you finish what you started. And the reason he always taught us that was what if just what if whenever they throw the ball to first base and you think I'm out and you give up, what if the first baseman drops the ball? If you would have kept running as fast as you could all the way through, you'd make it and you'd be safe. But people always think, eh, 
what's the point? The point is, is you work hard, start to finish. My dad taught us that, that's what we're gonna do for the 100 days. So we appreciate our parents teaching us all those things as kids, because now we can use them as adults. So a fun fact is when we were kids, me and Jared loved hockey, but we live in South Texas, so we couldn't play on an ice rink or nothing. So we played street hockey. We watched hockey all the time and we begged our parents for Christmas or pretty sure it was Christmas. Please get us hockey sticks in the puck and rollerblades. That's all we want. I don't want anything else. I want a hockey stick. Well, they bought us hockey sticks, but they were left-handed. They didn't have right-handed hockey sticks. We live in South Texas. You ain't got much of a choice. <laughs> they sell it, you buy it, or you don't get it. And so uh, instead of complaining and making up excuses, Jared and I learned instead of hitting the puck right-handed, we learned how to hit it left-handed. And man, we were good. We'd set up a, a goal on my neighbor's barn and hit it from our concrete, our driveway, over probably like a 50-foot gap and hit the barn in that section. And we learned how to skate and shoot left-handed. And I guess that comes in handy later because now I'm using my left hand doing this, but it just shows. Don't let anything hold you back. Overcome and conquer, do what you need to do. Don't let anything hold you back. It doesn't matter if you don't have the right tools, you know, no tools, whatever the case may be, don't let anything hold you back. All right, so as you can tell, we're getting the fence line going, but we have a problem. We have these tree branches that I cut down yesterday from that tree. I need to move them off. All right, we got that kind of knocked out. You know what they say, safety second, oh wait. I know what it is. Safety third. Water break. Cheers to you guys for all your support. Never was a beer drinker. Can't chug like the good old college boys. All right, let's get back to work. So I'm out here working and I hear wait 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 little baby mice. Um, not very big. So I feel bad. We don't want mice up at the camp house and stuff. I'm not gonna kill this little guy or girl. I'm putting them back, but that's why we're trying to clear all this out. Keep snakes and mice away, because if there's mice, there's snakes. Alright, as you can tell, clear the fence line all the way down. That way, not a huge accomplishment, but it's good for me. I am drenched in sweat. Now I need to go on the other side and all these tree branches we need to haul off. So hopefully, Jaylene will be done editing this video in a minute. I think we're gonna eat some uh, chicken, leftover chicken from yesterday from my parents. We do have a deep freeze. Um, so we, we don't have a refrigerator, we do have a deep freeze. We gotta work on the refrigerator. Um, yesterday in our live chat, someone actually donated Super Chat to help us, um, you know, fund some of the uh, refrigerator cost uh, to buy one out here. So if we buy one, it'll be a little mini fridge. But we're gonna eat some uh, frozen chicken from yesterday's barbecue. We're gonna heat that up over fire. And then uh, then there's some french fries. I think we have two eggs now uh, from today. Like I said, our hens, chickens kinda got attacked yesterday, so I'm surprised we even got two eggs. So maybe we might make a little chicken french fry omelet. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited for this clearing right now. After we eat, I'll probably jump on the other side, clear that out, and then haul all these branches off 
and then uh, that way if I bring the weed eater or maybe get a lawnmower in here we can mow this down but I also need to chop those trees down as well and haul them off so I need to go get some energy I drank two cups of coffee this morning and that just wore off so we left the ranch and we came to my parents house because I had needed my daddy uh, our hard drive broke because if anything go wrong it's going wrong so we came home, we got a bunch of packages to open, and keeping it Dutch sent us a package. A box full of honey, literally. <laughs> it was this jar, and it, it was, was open, open and straight from the post office, it's sticky. Straight from the post office, it was full of honey. This little bear is the bear that could. So we're gonna have to try that. I think the honey might've got too hot in the mason jar and it worked its way open. As you could tell, it's all dented up and messed up. So, he also sent us some multi-spice. That thing's really cool. It's, it's got a whole bunch of stuff. Handy. So, anything from curry, cayenne, garlic, black pepper, salt, uh, paprika, all those. So, that's awesome. He gave us some um, off-grid meals to eat. Those are good, actually. Which, we've had these before and they're really good. Uh, but, yeah, he's our buddy Dutch. Y'all know him keeping it Dutch. He was very nice enough very nice enough he was nice <laughs> enough to uh, send that over and um, even though he's injured right now he got hurt him and his wife got hurt but he was still nice enough to send us a care package so thank you Dutch we truly appreciate it I feel like Jason's dad's very upset about the lost honey I think it broke his heart a little bit a little bit this smells good though taste it how did he put a lid on this is fake <laughs> fake news he put a lid on it <laughs> I think keeping it Dutch is a lie. That's going to be the title of today's video. Keeping it Dutch is a scammer. <laughs> Look at that. He has honey, but it's got a seal on top. I mean, come on, Dutch. You're a liar. Tastes like store-bought honey. That's I'm some, just kidding. That's, that's really some good <laughs> honey. So, even though it's store-bought... <laughs> That's pretty good, Dutch. Gotta say, this is Dutch money. Wait, Dutch Dutch money is, money. Dutch's money, honey, right here. He needs to start a business because that is good. All right, so we're kind of doing this backwards. Um, this is now the morning of the next day. We didn't finish our vlog yesterday. Uh, we had a rough day. Our hard drive broke. Brand new hard drive. That yeah, has a hundred dollars, basically down the drain. That has all our ranch footage, our new intro our transitions, everything, all the music. I know you're probably thinking today's video would have been a lot cooler with some music. I know we don't have anything right now. We lost everything. So it was the end of a long, hard week. Um, everything that possibly could have gone wrong pretty much went wrong. The yeah. goats are still missing. Stainer um, passed away before we even came to the ranch. Um, our, our dog, killed all of the chickens now yeah. at this point. The update on the chickens is they're all dead now. Um, so we need to figure something out with that. We can't have her doing that anymore. We don't know really know what to do at this point. Dutch sent us that package, the honey yeah, came exploded. out. We got another package that you'll see in another video. Um, that came broken. Um, there's just been so much stuff lately that this is we're just, not even we're not even saying it all right now this is just the point of this challenge that i think a lot of people would say i give up i'm, I'm done. out i'm done i don't <clears throat> want to do this anymore it's not worth it it's too hard it's too frustrating and we're not going to do that we're gonna we're gonna just it is what it is it's been a hard week i'm sure we'll have some hard weeks throughout this next you know 90 days but we're gonna stick with it. We're yep. gonna keep pushing forward. It's a new week, and we're we, just gonna do our best to figure it to figure it all out. Yeah, and we have big goals, and you know we have been getting. I mean, just over the top, more than normal, crazy bad, trash talking comments. And some of them aren't necessarily bad. It's just people that think well, they're in, they're entitled to tell you the rudest things. Well, and then there's people that tell you how you need to feel, how you need to live, what you need to do, and it's- How you need to look, how you need to feel. So, it's just one of those things that, um, I don't know. I personally don't get on the comments anymore right now since we're out here. It's already mentally 
draining enough and because a lot of those people are kind of just ugh because our connection out here is very very slim and I'm not going to spend that slim amount of time with stupid comments I just can't do it so I get on the family page and um, yeah. I, I look on there I don't I don't have service good enough on my phone to comment back but I, I can see it it, uh, it uploads so I would say um, yes keep commenting on the videos and we'll get to them but the best way to reach us is through the, the Crocker family page on Facebook yeah but please don't stop commenting we do want to be able to comment my parents have been just absolutely killing it looking through comments and stuff and they've kind of realized how much of a how big YouTube really is how much of a job it is because they check the comments and you know go through it and comment back to some and they just they get overwhelmed with it they're just like this is a full-time job I don't think people really truly understand how much work goes into that and that's with them just reading through them and coming back to a few Jaylena used to comment back to every single comment and good or bad and so uh, out here we still have time for that but guys thank you so much for sticking around and the support and I mean without you guys the good people commenting and all you guys that have at our back I don't think we can make it right now it's been rough any like literally if anything could go wrong it's it has gone wrong, wrong. Um, but we will not let that stop us this is a new week we have literally been we've now been down here for one whole week um, not so much at the ranch we came down early um, but it's a new week we're gonna start fresh we're gonna hit this hard we're gonna remember why we're doing this and that's just it there's nothing else to it we're gonna do what we need to do and we're gonna try to have the best attitude we can and know that we're doing this for ourselves and our family and for you guys so we are having some rain coming this way so yes. we will probably get to start in the camp house and in the trailer working on the inside so if that's what you want to see it's coming soon yep we uh, try to do the right thing and get the corrals fixed up for our goats and they said see you later and they didn't stick around so guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoy these ranch rescue videos please hit the subscribe button and notification button when you hit the notification button click all um, that helps a lot and your comments help your likes even those few people that dislike the videos you're helping us out so thank you so much for your support thank you guys for watching and we will see you tomorrow yep haters gonna hate <laughs> but don't forget dutch is a scammer <laughs>